If you love the look of old farmhouse pieces of furniture and you want to be able to recreate that look yourself of depth, I've got the perfect product for you. That's my Dust of Ages. As you can see on this new little corbel that I have painted, down in the crevices you'll see Dust of Ages. It will simulate the look of that like you would see on an authentic antique piece, but you can add it to your brand new pieces that you're painting with our light antique wax. Let me show you exactly what I'm talking about. Here's a piece that I have painted with our black one-step paint. You'll see it's a beautiful matte chalky finish. Now I'm able to come back with my light antique wax and my dust of ages and totally take it to a whole new level. So with my light antique wax, I'm gonna take my hog hair brush, load it up, You'll notice that this is a kind of an ambery color wax. It's because it's a combination of natural beeswax and carnauba. The carnauba is the hardener to the wax. I'll always have a little piece of cardboard, so I'll just offload it. You never want to go directly from the puck to the piece of furniture you'll put too much wax on. So offload it. That will evenly distribute it throughout the brush. Then you want to be able to come over your piece I like working with these hog hair brushes because it puts the wax on very quickly and a lot, a lot of surface area is covered. You can pounce it down in the crevices if you've got some carving like this. Now, here's another important part. You've got to allow this to air dry for at least 10 to 15 minutes. We call it TAC, T-A-C-K. If you want to fast forward this just a little bit, you can fan it with just a little bit of paper, but it's so important to be able to come to TAC first. If you apply the dust of ages before this wax has come to tack, it's just going to go dark, almost a black color, and we want it to stay that beautiful dust of ages color. So allow it to come to tack probably in about 10 minutes. I have a piece here that I've already applied the wax. You can see a little bit of sheen, but it's dried down. It's to a little bit more of a matte finish. Now I'm gonna take a brush. And that's how I'm gonna apply my Dust of Ages. Now, I do recommend working in a really nice ventilated area. It's hard for me to talk to you and teach you, but I want you to wear just a paper dust mask just to pr protect you and not inhale this. So dip your brush into the Dust of Ages. Tap it on the side just to be able to get some of the excess off. And then you're gonna come and apply it generously. I will usually work on my piece laying flat like this. It's gonna be difficult for you to work on a vertical surface that'll fall down. So if you can take your drawer or your door or whatever piece you're working on and lay it down flat like this. So once you apply it, you'll see you've got excess on it. You're gonna lose a lot of that. And if you want to save it, you can put it back in the container. Just make sure it's nice and clean. And now we're gonna buff it. Buff it like you would a shoe with a pressure going back and forth in a hit drag motion. You're gonna get a lot of the excess off because we're wanting to have a beautiful sheen on the top and just have the dust of ages down in the crevices. This is what's going to give you a beautiful cabinet looking finish. It's gonna look so expensive and everybody's gonna be so impressed with your skills. That's what I call enjoying the bragging rights. So you'll come back You'll just buff this to where you'll get a beautiful sheen from the wax. You're gonna allow the dust of ages to stay down in the crevices and you're ready to enjoy your piece.